let's hope that this is the one I can do now. Mummy neck. Right, okay. Right. Oh, I don't want to go live on there. How boring for him. Alright, let's see if we can activate. It's very slow today, what's going on? Oh, it's crying out for a kick, this, I'm telling you. Right, what I've done is I've posted the link out to people if they want to come on. I don't even know whether this is anti- Oh, hello! Oh, you will be so fine here, Jenna and Jane. Hello. Linda, thank you very much. Rachel, hopefully, oh, you're around late, my lovely. Sally Ann, Susan, Sue, Kath. Hi, Kath, hope you're all right, my lovely. Um, Jane, don't worry about it, honestly. Don't worry about it. Some people have got off, some people have come in. It's a blowing nightmare with me, honestly. I just get up and do the washing and stuff and anything else that grabs me. So don't worry. Don't worry. There's a fly that's come in there and it's doing me anything. If it comes near me now, I'm going to rip it apart. I'll be gentle with it now. I'll gently rip it apart. Right, hello and welcome. Bloody neck, it's been a bit of a bit of a dicky one, this one. Just talking to the lovely Sharon. Um, he's been doing some of the other shows. has been, you know, swapping ideas. We've got a great idea, but it, I don't think it'll come across. Where we both work together on the same thing, but... Yeah, money, ideas. It don't work like that, does it? Hello! It's been a week. I have so missed it. So missed it. To the point where I did my own time the other day. It's quite funny. I just sat on my own and I did it. And I was like, this was in between sojourns. And um, I did it on my own and it was like so not work, not work, it didn't work, it didn't work. Not only did I look a bit daft talking to myself and chat, chat, chatting, but it didn't work, it didn't work. Couldn't be doing it, couldn't be, couldn't be doing it. Hello Michael, you're back again now. Hi, blabbers. Hi Susan. Oh, right, okie doke. So, I need this, I need this. Just a, a quick, want to show you a look. Sunset and palm tree. It's got some nice stuff here. Um, and some nice sheets with it. Some great stamps. And I've been, because I've, I've got home Sunday, very late, Sunday late. Oh, I love these. Look at that. You can do so much with them. Oh, that's what that is. It's a rock. I've got, you know, sort of, it's got like a yule log, that, isn't it? But, oh, got flowers in it. Look at him. He's a bobby dazzler, he is. Hello, Karen. Hi, Helen. Of course I did. I thought to myself, it was absolutely ridiculous. Look at this one here. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? And you get the dyes, and in the dyes, you get all sorts of dyes, actually. I love them. I do like these. I think Sharon was going to do this, and they swapped over. So we've got a, a, a shelly thing, and then, look at this. We've got a... Oh, look at it. I can't show you too much because it's all in packets. Look at that for a back for a side page. We've got flip flops. <laughs> flip flops. I'm loving that one. I didn't think, you know, I did think. Sometimes you think, oh, not doing stuff like that for ages. But when you're giving it, you go bonkers. Right, so we've got coral reef and all that. But this is so useful for mixed media. This I absolutely love because I've done it in watercolor. But these are so useful. And these bubbles look bubbles. But yeah, really, really useful for other things. Not just for this, but for your journaling, scrapbooking. And I did this, like, let me show you. 
I shouldn't be showing you this, really. But what I did was, I died cut. Because thank you to uh, Crafter's Companion. I sent mine in to see if it needed a bit of TLC. It did, but it, it was past... It was past caring for. So they sent me one. So I'm happily here die cutting away. So I've cut two, two look at the colours on that. Two of the sheets. Right. But then I wanted to make sure that there was watercolour paper inside. So I've die cut the water Look at that. And then that one is watercolour. So I could put a dark background on it. But paper piece it. You know what I mean? But yeah, so that... I'm, I'll shut up. But yeah, look at look at the flowers you get with it. Look at that. I made that one crap there. Sorry about that. But yeah, look at that. Anyway, oh, we've got the flip flops. I mean, I'm back. It's only time, my shoes and handbag match. Anyway, it won't match any other bloody time. So I put my balls away there. You know, look at bobbles. Look at that. I've already I've only been here five seconds and made a mess. Right, it's done damn bits. They get everywhere, don't they? Also, you get these as well. Right, for the edge of your papers. Thank you. Hello there. What's that say? What? Celebrate. Oh, celebrate. Happy birthday. Big shig. What? Big tug. Hug. Hug. Big hug. Uh, lots of love. And what? Enjoy life. Party time. So that it, all it is is. Oh, why didn't I just look at that? Because some of the letters, when they cut off, they're a bit weird, aren't they? I love these. Put them on the edge at the front on all these flippy floppy cards, whatever they. They're proper names. Sharon knows proper names. Of it. I don't. I, I don't know any names. I, I never profess to knowing any names. I just call them what I have in my head at the moment, which is very, very often inappropriate. So, piece of paper, everybody. You need your pencil with a bit of an eraser, whatever you want. It's a bit dark, but I'm not turning the light on, because then it goes... Well, let's try it. I don't want any shadows. Is that okay? Oh, Sheila. Oh, you're okay. Oh, Emma, that... Fifi, hello! Shroom, lovely to meet you as well. Lovely to meet you as well. Do you know, Tracy, come and sat with me all day, it was blooming great. What are you doing here? Right, anyway, you, you're off your head, Tracy. It was so nice to meet people, and we met, and, you know, make friends. That's what it was about. It wasn't just sitting there having an hour. I made some lovely friends, and I hope, you know, that they felt the same way. Um, yeah, it was lovely, really nice to just sit there and have a chat and explain, uh, you know, different things, how you're feeling, how you're not feeling. I'm going to do something really simple, because I just want to draw today, okay? Uh They are, Emma. They are, Emma, don't worry. But I could add them on the end of mine if I wanted to. Don't worry, they are, they are, don't worry. It's just I like, you know, I like confusion. And if, for those people in the group doing the other bits, like the DT stuff, yeah, we're all in the know now, aren't we? Right, okay, so I am going to do something for me, something simple. I don't pertain, I'm going to do it in the middle. Do you know what? I've got an habit of doing Waffling. 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 I bought them for a pound the other day. There's about six of them in a box. In a thingy from pound shop. Great. Right, I'm going to do a square in the middle of my page because I've realised I am not going to be... I'd have to be 110 to finish off, off my box and I don't think I'll get to that. So, 22 by 22 is a blooming big square. So, let's go for... 12 too small. 15. 15. I don't even care if it's square. I've not got any interest in whether it's square. Not worried. I am just going to... Right, if that is a bit too small, then just add a whatever on it. See? 
There we go. Oh! Move! Oh. I've been back today and I've created mayhem in the house. So if I wanted to, I'm happy with that. You know why? Because oh, look at that. Just found that as well. So I could do that in the middle, but I'm not. It's a little confusion. But I'm happy to do this because I get. Mary, you, uh, Linda, you come in and go. It makes me laugh that. In out, in out, shake it all about. I don't like that light on. It's doing me head in. It's like creating shadows. So the first I'm going to do is create four corners. Not four candles, four corners. So the first I'm going to do is do a, a teardrop in each corner. Doesn't have to be perfect. I have never ever said those words in my mouth. Apart from if I'm saying your work is perfect. Which I did do a lot on Saturday and Friday and Sunday when I was chatting to people. Getting to see some people's work on the phone. It was brilliant. Loved it. So I've got that. It was great. I had a little chat with Olive. Patricia made me a bag which is the star of the show. It's upstairs actually. I've put, started to put my stuff in it. With my Frida bag and it match it nearly matches Kim Bevan's Frida bag. Um happy as a pig in awful. Right, okay. So I've got my four bits. Okay. If you want to find a stencil that does it, go to my web page and my web book and visit there and it's got my pages there. Um I've also got a Patreon page there which allows me to um carry on giving free videos if you wish to contribute and you do get freebies in that and it, I will be uh, working with Leone at some point where we're going to be doing different things but yeah um hope you you any information you need is there if you do need anything more often than not I will put the um I will put the details on after the video but today I, I actually forgot so let's go into another pattern then right so we've got a pattern and I'm just going to do like a a U what I'm also going to do after this is just look at how divided it is so I'm just going to drop in a center line it doesn't have to be perfect I'm not interested in that you know that it's just a center line that shows me where I can go um so that is oh, I'm not doing inches am I right I thought it was 15 but it's not that top one's 15 so seven and a half oh look at that it's about right isn't it there we go so each square it's a square or a square you can do it hi Tracy sweetheart Jane hello Angela right so each one you can sort of see and if you find in it that you do need to you can do that as well and then that way that even helps more so you can straighten up look at that it's well out isn't it so I can do them now and fit so when I do my drawings they all fit so I'm going to get that in with a pen first I'm using a three this is oh I've so missed this uh, lovers I'm playing um sorry I don't need to show I've got a big gob I don't need that do I I'm playing Rufus music The reason I'm putting this in is the pattern. I've got a bit big there, but I don't care. And um, when I was doing the brilliant workshops, I'm not just saying that, they were good. Um, 
for clarity. It did strike home how... Denise! Hey, my mate, my muck is here. Yeah, I know you're not deaf, love. I just like to shout. Um, I, I found it really interesting that when I was doing the weekend, oh, I had a wonderful time. It was really good. It was great to see people. It was great to sort of uh, interact. But what was even better was um, there's a couple of people like, oh, I don't do that. Oh, I don't. So a couple of them were really rude, and you were like, so what? I don't like how you've got your hair, but I'm not going to say that. You know what I mean? It's like, really? Oh, don't do that. Ooh. And I was like, how rude? And it just reminded me of how we are with things we're not too sure about, okay? Rufus Music. Yeah, he has it playing that time. Um, wonder why? It's very reassuring music. It's very nice music. It is. Sorry, the noise in the background is me doing all my whites. I'm on a boil wash today. Um, getting back to my convoluting tale is I was very shocked at even of ladies of an age, my age, your age, whatever age, still now, and I've noticed I've got rid of this as I've got older. Oh, I don't like that. But now I'm really realising I haven't got that much time. I want to try it. So I was like, right, okay, fair enough, you don't like that. If you haven't seen the, um, this pen's wearing out, you can imagine why. Um, you haven't seen any finished piece or anything. All the the team was the hello Helen. Oh Helen, see, uh, she's the old Joe Buster. Marcia, hello. Um, Andrew was telling me yesterday. I hope you're okay. Um. I showed them the finished piece. I'm getting on with the story before we get it. And they were like, oh, oh, is that what you do? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. I didn't know it was going to be like that. And this is the problem. What we don't do, really, is... So I'm going to have to bring that out a bit there. We don't give each other... Oh, thought to things we just go no nope, don't like that and in the end you think you don't know it you don't know until you try it I've done that oh, my, it really don't matter that because I'm going to do it online um, and it was just quite eye opening how many people were then they looked at the final piece because they knew what Jane was doing Jane was doing a beautiful um white work piece at coaster absolutely stunning and it was a charity charity it was a clarity weekend so they knew they were going to get that and um so they knew they were going to get a wonderful result with that because they're used to it they like it but they didn't have a clue and they just you know book and cover and it was like when they saw it we were like Oh, it's really nice, that. Thank you. And it was... That. That I strived for all my life. All my working life, all my, you know, my professional teaching. Was to try and show these people that, no, it doesn't have to be what they imagine. Hello, Liz. So, yeah, I really had a good weekend doing that because it really opened my eyes. And I was like, yeah, right, I get that now. But that doesn't matter. It was still very surprising that we still do it so much, you know. And we've not got long. We haven't got long. So I'll try it all. Uh, but I loved it. It was. A and you know what else? Let me tell you something. I forgot about this. You know, when I was approaching the idea of doing Clarity, I love what Jane does. 
I love what um, Tina does and Jose, Sam does. I love what Dee does. Lovely Linda Williams and Glynis. Every one of them. I hope I've not missed anybody. And Barbara. I know it's like, I can't be them. I cannot be them. And that's what we have to remember. That when you're doing something, you are not that person. You can't be them. You can't. It's not you. So, I, they're already takers. So as soon as I got that in my head, I thought, right, I'm going to, instead of... Oh, it's Michael's birthday! Happy birthday to Michael! Um, do you know what I've missed? I've, every day I met, I wish everybody a birthday, and last week I've not done it, I feel disgraceful. Um, but it's absolutely wonderful to then have the freedom instead of you trying to be that person you do what you do with their stuff and that was that that was the revelation for me that was the revelation it was no longer i was trying to be a white worker patcher or groovy or whatever they call i was just using their products to do what i do and that was the revelation for me that was the time it, it just opened out and it was great and then it began to loosen up and i got a great response from people and i actually blooming well loved it i don't think i've got the work here but it's i think it's upstairs but it was just and like it was wonderful wonderful i'd lost this thing about having to be as great or as good as everyone else i i, I just had to do what i did and after that it was like I really like that. Weren't we, we going to do that? Yeah, we're going to do that. No, Mills. It's... It's uh, Michael Mills' birthday. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, it was... In the minute I did that, I'd released all the tension. Not worried. I really enjoyed it. I had I was I had people wriggling their toes, sitting upright. I had them all doing this, that, and the other. Uh, and yeah, loved it. And it was the idea of just letting it go. Just letting it go. A bit like this now. As Thelma's just said, you never know quite where you're going. As long as it's a safe journey, that's all you need to know, really, isn't it? As long as it's, you know, you're not putting yourself in danger, then you should try stuff within reason. So, oh, I like that already. What we're going to do is a story of four corners, so to speak. This is great on parchment. Hey, <laughs> I can say that now, can't I? <laughs> we are trained to do things. Uh, a certain way and we are trained to believe that you can't say your stuff's good you can't do this can't do that and you, you can right okay so we've got this pattern and it looks like a cross but you can either treat it as that's the main pattern or these are the main pattern so we're looking at these as the main pattern all right so we're going to put some pattern in now and it's got to be done so the first thing is i want to put like a flame like version in there so i'm going around all four Putting in like another flame. Great with certain colours. The next one is I'm going to put in just a small, not filling it up, petal shape around that. More in a Mendy style. Also, um, I've learned a big thing from my calligraphy and that is I have got a terrible habit of just going duh, 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 duh. and I'm learning to take my pen or pencil off the page and I get a much neater effect you don't have to try it but instead of going which is to me I'm learning that 
stop and start on each one and each one is individual and you get I get a much neater result so it still looks really cruddy down that you know part of my illness is blah, blah 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 do you know what it is if I don't write things down right I have no short-term memory no short-term memory it's part of my illness people say things to me and if I don't write them down and forget them then can be rude I was accused once of um, not doing what people promised and he was really nasty to me but it was it's part of my illness but I didn't feel I needed to tell him that um, but um, yeah if I don't write it down I forget and I wrote it down so I remembered that's why I write so much so but yeah I remember that but I thought it's only it weren't long ago but I thought no I'm not having I don't have to discuss my illness with anybody you know it doesn't define me but yeah I wrote it down so I remembered anyway anyway so yeah picking up my pen makes a big difference so I'm going to put so I've got a line here that's bugging me so I'm just going to put another line in there get me so I'll put a line about there all the way around So we've got our four squares now. And you look at the patterns and, and they reach out certain things to you, don't they? they? They reach out and I'm getting this idea of a word here. Yeah. So I'm just going to put a lot of line circles there. It is. Thank you, Helen. I'm Pam. Oh, keep shouting near the microphone, sorry. But it is, it's really, really difficult. Really, I have no short-term recall, short-term recall. But if I write it down, it's like it's gone in my head. But if I don't write it down, I'll forget it. And people get upset with, you know. I would never dream of dissing them about their illness, but there again, I'm a bit more considerate. I often wonder why people do things, but I don't actually say it. But yeah, I don't I don't like what happens, but I can't help it. I'm going to miss one and do circle uh, petals, but a bit smaller, getting bigger. There we go, like that. And when I was doing the Clarity Weekend, um, I just went back straight back into teaching mode um and it was amazing what we got done in f well i had an over an hour with my ladies um so i was showing them new things which is, is really strange considering the ladies i was working with were absolute some of them were absolute beautiful experts but to learn something new with it and that's because as, as I was talking to people when we're, when we're young we're taught away and we learn do this and you do that so there's a set of boundaries and rules that are given to you but because I know nothing and I know nothing about the rules and boundaries does it? Ella, do I understand exactly which part of my illness um and yeah i have a note you see my notebooks don't you you see my notebooks um oh yeah i was showing them what to do with theirs and it wasn't because i was trying to be big headed right it's just because i had no rules to break because i didn't know the rules so i approached it in a different way now this is I, I don't particularly like the way this is looking at the moment but you need to go with it and that's what we're saying at the weekend but it was great i loved it i loved how sorry it's going on a spin now i loved how we were able to just communicate through 
how we create. And that was the bit. I, I was absolutely, absolutely over the moon doing that. Here, what I'm doing is, I'm doing a U there. So, oh, that was a bit dodgy there. Like that. So, it's actually, if I draw it here, there's blom, 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 like that. So, I'm doing it that way, if it makes sense. Get me? Right, okay. So, let's do this one. So, I'm going... That's a better one than my flow there. And if you've not got enough room, just do one and a curl it like a, a wrong J. Okay, so that one's well dodgy, but. I feel like Johnny Depp at the moment, as Amber Heard. The guy over the road is shouting his head off. Feels like I'm filming it or taping it. Right. Right, oh! Seriously, how on earth? Would you think in your daily life that you would need to do something like this? How would you think that you'd need to do this to make your life better? Doesn't come, doesn't you? It don't compute, does it really? Yes, I know. I'm going to tidy these up. Can you hear him? So I'm going to clean up the bit that's... I'm using a thicker pen. You never knew anybody apart from that guy over the road. And I sometimes wonder whether I'm going to phone the police. Can you hear me? Sorry, guys. Who's phoning me? Ow! Hello? Hello? You are, yeah. Is it important? I'm actually live on the moment on, on my channel. Is it important? All right, then. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sorry about that. I did speak to him nicely, though, didn't I? I did say if it's important, go away. Um... That's better. I'm actually liking that better. It, I tell you, seriously, the amount of people who graciously, very graciously, even put me near, like what Barbara was doing with her shack. Very honoured. But yeah, it, I just didn't realise what a, an impact it had on me, never mind anybody else. So just, oh look at that, it's much better now, isn't it? Oh, well, I hope so, Kath. I've missed having a chat to you, my love. Got some more stuff. But Debbie, no. That's really, I'm really not happy with that. OK, 
keep going. And yeah, the lovely Karen was reminding us very much about wanting to have a day retreat workshop at the monastery and yeah we have to do something I suppose we can't just say it and not do it Jane but anyway yeah and then at Doncaster um, I must admit they booked me into an hotel to be really near um, the lovely parlour absolutely beautiful oh my gosh you want to see her grandchildren and her daughters Oh, talk about beautiful. Anyway, yeah, it was... Um, I thought I was in the Premier Inn and I get there and some people recognise me and I wasn't booked in there. Um, and because I wasn't booked in, they offered to uh, let me keep on their floor, which was lovely. And then I found out where I was and it was seriously um, like the Bates Motel. So, it's right next door. So anyway, I got there. I I nearly came home, but I just thought, no. And my head hit the pillar. And I was out like a light. But, yeah, all day driving back there, I was like, I need an hour, I need an hour just for myself. And um, I was really, it really got to me how much an impact it has at the moment I'm really not liking this I'm really not liking this at the moment but I want the de I've got the design in my head oh yeah sticky carpet oh I had a shower with my shoes on. I won't mind, but it's not cheap. You know what I mean? It wasn't a cheap one. Everybody looked at me for give her cheap rooms. So I'm going to tidy up this bit now. But it was absolutely brilliant chatting to people. I really missed that. Because I've not been on telly. I had loads of people thinking I'd been sacked. You name it. That's better. I've seen this somewhere. Something like this. But I can't remember where it was. We all get like that, don't we? Where we're seen and we're influenced by something and we can't actually remember where it's from. But I'm pretty certain there's probably lots of pictures similar. And the lovely Claire Harrison who I met. Because I don't know, those of you who know me, you know, I used to go and take, when I was at the studio, I used to take my Auntie Myra out. And she died the other week. And I didn't even know till the day she was dying because the family didn't phone me. So, yeah, so I won't be going to Spalding, Claire, which is a bit upsetting because I loved going there. I loved the second hand shots and I just, I've always loved Spalding, old, always. So, yeah, I won't be coming down there, Claire. What a gutted. It's a love. Right, what I'm going to do on these lines because I really don't like them is going to go back to my light colour. We like pen, sorry. And I'm going to put a wiggle round. Oh, that. Is that working or what? Right, 
that's it I might not fill them in yet but I will it's weird I'm really not getting this yet not not yet I will hopefully right so That's better. I'm going to put some dots in these now. So dots and lines, different directions. That's better. Weird, isn't it? Just one little wobble and bubble and dot, and you already feel that you've got much nicer movement to it or feel so I had um, so many beautiful comments from people and I think the main comment is I was real a bit like the work you can only be yourself because everyone else has been taken it's weird that isn't it because I'm not happy with myself what I look like visually I'm very happy with myself inside warts and all very very weird it's it's so weird that I am happy in my skin now oh yeah of course I am I said I was going to use some inks didn't I of course I am so In fact, if you want to stay on, I'll continue the live. People can go and I'll just show you how I'm going to use some inks on the prep I've got ready if you want to stay on for a bit. I'm happy to do that. You can even go to a little room like I used to. That's better. I'm happier with that. Now you noticed I went a bit careful, ginger, gingerly at the beginning, and that's because I wanted to check whether I wanted it full or not. Um, oh, Jane, you okay? Oh, you're all right. So it's probably me I've put you off here. Circles got to be done. I don't want them too big. Oh, way. You can tell I'm enjoying it because I've got my head on one hand and I'm drawing one handed. That sounds silly, but normally I'd be like that two handed, but I've got one hand here. My head. Chilling. So what was nice speaking to Jane. I love Jane. I'm very lucky. And um it's nice to know that even if you don't do what I do, you just sit and do something for yourself. 
It's really cool. Hi, Carol. Oh, Jane, I when I was having all my cameras and rubbish done, they told me I had any hiatus hernia. And um, I never knew. Apparently, it's quite a bad one. So, I used to feel sick. And um, when I was talking to the whoever, the guy with the camera, I said I'd, I often draw for an hour when I take my tablets. And he says, well, because you know I take my tablets down. And he said, that's a great way of taking your mind off it. And it helps me. Not It's not going to probably work for everybody, but yeah. Right, I'm happy with that now. I'm getting the feel of this. I don't like that cross being there, though. It's like... It's not giving me any vibes. Any vibes. So I might. Aha. I don't know whether I like that or not. Oh, that's going over there, that's why. I don't know. Leave that as that, because I'm not too sure about that. I'm just going to finish some pattern in here. So in here, let's look for... So we're making like a, a V and a dot over it There we go. Not turn the sound off, don't we? I'm just enjoying the moment with you all. I need to write this down, but I have so I can know, know that I've told you. But I'm going to be releasing some new stuff, and the new stuff is. New digits and papers, believe it or not. Yep, 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 yep. Some of the drawings that I love don't always get made into stamps. So, sack it. Digits are great because even if you haven't got a printer that does watercolour paper, you can trace it off. And you can change the size, which you can't with a stamp. Right, that's better. Quite like that, even though I'm not too sure about that. In between, again, I've got this shape to bring it back round. Or, sort of, as I say, the word commonality. You can see, it's just the same. It's that shape, but being influenced by what I read at the moment. For the fourth time, Discovery of Witches, I'm on four, the, the fourth book. I don't know, everyone's keeping, no, there's three, there's not, there's four. Well, there's not four books per se, it's just 
three books and then a continuation. So quite, yeah, that's coming along now. It's coming along. So. If I do that, that, and that, just bear with me guys. Oh, that's not the middle, that is. Middle, 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 middle. Yeah, right. So that line there, that's the middle. There's the middle, and there's the middle. Middle, 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 middle. What I'm going to do... Like that. So I'm going to do some... I'm just going to try a shape now, so... I'm just looking at that. I think I'm going to do it that shape there. That one. Do we do one and a half, or do we do... Yeah, so that line is the half, okay? That's better. Okay, so... Doing it in pencil so that I can make. Doing it in pencil so I can make that there. Yeah. Right. So. I'm going to go over it with a pen, that's much better now. Take your time and I'm going to go up and round. And if it doesn't fit that spot, who cares? Again, much better if I do the line each side rather than trying to do yeah much better trying to do all of it all at once like it just doesn't work for me it's all about rushing and do I need to rush well, no, and, and, and yeah, I don't want to be tardy, but I don't want to be ruining it either. So if I rub out these lines, guys, you'll be able to see it. Do you know Matthew Goodright? I was laughing. Um, I knew a team in somewhere before, and it was like Miss Marbles, uh, Miss Marples, Miss Marple. Yeah, in one of the thingies. And I looked, and there's so many actors there that have been done a Miss Marble. Uh, oh, Miss Marple.
change focus. You mean the focus is gone. So, yeah, I think it has changed the whole concept and idea of it. Could be seen as quite Christian or, um, Actually, there's lots of crosses in lots of um, different religions and, and things. So, yeah, I could say this crosses over many different ideas, uh, religions and things. So, yeah, it could be seen very much like that. Or it could be just seen as a beautiful pattern, flowers. I'm going to do, I know I'm not joining the lines there, but uh, I'm not taking it off, but I've done it wrong way there. Can't do it wrong way, no matter which way you do it, silly woman. Yeah, so it's rinse. I'm happy with that now. I weren't happy with it before. I am now. I'm tending to like it. So. doing the dots so they've got all the doors open that's why it's so loud he's <laughs> 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 taking off <laughs> that is so nice to me it's just so nice to me Because all my kitchen, my kitchen door, my living room door, and everything's open, so and, and on the doors outside are open, so it's the noise has just come all the way through the house. So it sounds like I've got a jumbo jet firing up in my kitchen, which is quite funny. It's one way of getting a new washer, isn't it? No way could I afford out. It's, like, it's all on its last legs, now, you know, like the, you know, when you, when it all needs, when we first moved in. 20 years ago we bought everything um, but now it's like got to that stage now where everything needs replacing and it's like yeah forget it forget it there's no way that's happening right it does sound like I'm out about 3,000 feet 4,000 yes it would make a great um, block pattern on a thing especially if you matched up your areas and in, in here we look like it's missing a bit so I'm going to do my I think I might make them a little bit darker. Yeah, I think I'm right. So I'm going to get my number doodah 12. I'll put on an extra spin in a minute just to make sure before I put it out on the line. Because it's, um, it's the white wash, so it's a bio wash. So it tells the things.
Ah, see. See how it's different now? I've got a really itchy nose. That means I'm lying, but I don't know what I'm lying about. What am I lying about? It can't be much of a lie if I don't know what it is. So here. going to put straight lines I love it when you get a really dodgy one and you hate it or you just dis dislike it and then by the end of it you actually really like it because you know it you can add color and texture to it and you'll be like oh I really like that now and I think that's a bit like hunger appeal you know, when you see something, it looks great on someone else, and you're like, why doesn't it look like that on me? And then, or you buy something that you think, or oh, buy it cheap, whatever. You buy it, but then you're pleasantly surprised that when you put it with, or put it on, it looks different, it looks brilliant, so... Totally different now, isn't it? Right, now, what do I need here? Not a lot. Dots in those bits that look like lady parts there we go they're not supposed to be lady parts but they look like them don't they? I'm not going to lie why would I I know they need little plant comes together and I had um, a lot of people asking me over the last four or five days what happens if can you and I'm like what are you asking me for why haven't you tried it why have you not tried it yourself and that is basically what myself and others do on TV is, is give you permission. And I give you permission to try it, to get, to get your pens out and have a go and do something. There's no rules to it. Moodling. is about you taking time now I don't care whether you're knit, knitting you're on the loo or whatever you want to do you're having a nap I don't care it, the point is it's your time so it doesn't matter if you're doing what you want to do be it what it may be then that's fine It's nothing to do with anybody else. You're allowed it. If you want to mess it up. Such a shame, isn't it? Such a shame that we have to be controlled. Can I do this? Can I? You can do whatever you want. It's your work. So, I'm happy with that. I think I turned that one around a bit. I 
I love Philip. It makes me laugh. I'm scared of her life, have her. Scared her. Oh, I. Your little gang. It's amazing, isn't it? That's another thing, like these ladies who've never met and they form their own gangs from other rooms and next minute, you're like, uh, best buddies. Brilliant. Don't be blaming me, though, if it all goes peaked on. I don't care. Well, I'm going to finish this bit here now, but I'm going to continue for a while doing some ink work. So, for those of you that have got to go, get back to work. Back to work. I will see you later. For those of you that are staying, I will continue. So, bye to you. Hello, goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Can't sing because I get in trouble. So, inks. I'm going to do some ink work. So, if you're going, bye. If you're not, hi. Right, I'm just going to put my washer on for another spin. Water. Right, I'm back. Back with a vengeance. So, I don't know if anybody's staying or not. Maybe I have to go. But I'm going to do some ink work. I'm going to do free and easy ink work. I'm going to see what it looks like. Don't care. I've got no idea in my head. I'm just going to go for it. And I'm hopefully going to do a background for my shows. Um, yeah. I'm going to use my whopper. My whopper duper. And I'm going to go for it. No rules. You need some big brushes. You need your inks. Um, you need a palette, of course or a piece of plastic, doesn't really matter what you put your inks on. I'm going to use one of my uh, new blocks, because I can. Um, by the way, did that fall out there? I've got one of my new studio lights, so I'm using my watercolour inks. I adore. I absolutely love my inks. So let's go for some little rotten, little techniques with it. Okay, so the first one is... If you've got an ink that's got a sediment, you must release the sediment like these here. Okay. Those are the sediments at the bottom. You've got to get rid of that. Now, sometimes it's easier to store them on the side so that the sediment's got a long, uh, bigger area. But if not, take the stopper out, get a cocktail stick in there. Okay, so here's the final ones as well. Right, so it's not going to be a master class. It's just going to be... A little bit because there are some colour workshops available. So let's look at the colour uh, to to use, and maybe I'll do a colour bit on it. So I'm going to add some water to an area about that size. Okay, I've got the water some as well. I don't want to add too many colours because I don't want to overpower it, but I'm going to use my lightest first. I'm just going to drop it on. Okay. So you can see there's not that much water because it's not going all over the place. Normally it'd swell out and, you know, blend and stuff. So I'm just giving it a little bit of an extra push. So I've got quite a large area there. I'm just going to put another area here and there and the reason for that is I like to work in threes so I'm going to try and keep them separate so I'm going to work in threes so I'm just going to blob that out a bit there you'll notice that I'm putting some on the water and then some where it's dry as well 
Right, so I've got three blobs, technical name blobs. So I'm going to add in now another colour. I'm going to add no more water at the moment. So that's bleeding, which is nice. So that's evolving that colour. So I'm just going to help it along a bit. Now this is just a background. Now there's ink in that brush already, so it's contaminating. So make sure that you clean your brushes. So I'm allowing some of the main colour to stay. See how this works? There's paper. If you don't get it quick, I can't remember what paper this is. It, it stains the paper so it doesn't move very well. So what you have to do is know, know your colour, know your inks know the rules and then you can break it off there we go we've got some orange coming through now so i've got some dark yellow which will help with the oranges um i don't know what i'm blobbing on here it's not strong watercolor paper anyway as you can tell it's ruckling and buckling Right, then I've got a little bit of the orange that I'm keeping to one side because it's a very strong colour, but I love it. It's not an orange, it's, it's like an egg yellow. Right, can you see I'm getting a nice orange in here? I'm going to blend some of this out just by adding it on the edges. I don't want to contaminate the colour because I'll add some more. If there's a, little, a bit with water on, then get rid of it if you want. I'm going to add a little bit more. That's it, just do one at once. That's it. So I'm going to go in with a dark colour. And you don't need a lot. That's why I put it on with the stopper because I've got less control. See how strong it is. And I'm brushing it in the paper. And you can see that's how it starts and that's how red it looks with the yellow underneath it so let's look right okay so the next color i've got is i've got like a, a turquoise so and it's called this is juniper green and norway blue look you'll see colors in a minute like a teal I have to be very careful with this because this is incredibly strong. I put that in four places, I know, but one's going to join. You see. So I'm going to match, put some over, and you'll see you'll get a purple with the red and the pinks, and you'll get a lovely green happening in there. So I'm just going to blend. Get away, to fly. I'm going to leave that a little minute to soak in. So I'm letting the colour go. Green, purple. I've got a brownie colour happening, which I'm, I'm just going to stay away from that for a minute. Give this up a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to wear tip with a bit of purple, which is crazy. It's very dark colour, but it it will migrate itself once you let the colour do its thing. I'm not trying to do anything. I am not trying to create anything. I am trying to just let the colours sort of do what they do and that is create amazing patterns right i'm going to spray the lot now don't spray your keyboard that's not a good idea that's such not a good idea and put your lids back on your ink right so now i'm going to really spray it i'm going to let it loose I 
have a paper towel ready or in my in my case a piece of paper and then I can catch any drips as soon as you get to a point you like bring it back the other way you know what I'm doing sorry you're not seeing very much and what I'm doing is I'm, I'm oh, giving you seasickness um, I'm just getting the, the ink to migrate on its own and if there's an area that we do it a bit of help give it a square and this gets rid of a lot of my brush marks so like that purple was not that purple before but now it's created its own purple and the orange has come into it so I've got some great appearances of colours that I didn't even know existed before so let's have a look now very different and now the last thing I'm going to do just take a hit of the colour off and then I've got now if you went to the Clarity Weekend you'll have seen Leona using these with a gel plate they look amazing as she dries them so look how look how less scary that is now it's not as tall scary as you thought not at all so how would you apply that to pattern now well I'll show you now so you must let that dry it's no you can't work on that now if I was to put more layers on that now they'd go brown I don't want that I want this layer to be on the bottom so that I can put other layers on the top and if you saw me over at weekend you'll understand what I mean it's really important that you you take your time people said I don't get that effect well I think my, most of the time people don't get the effect they're rushing it they're rushing it so here for if I do a big petal shape just to show you okay you might just do, see it's just wet in like a petal shape you may not see that I don't think you can and it's just a wet petal shape that that's big so I'm going to go again in with my light um, and I'm going to put in the colour maybe at the top yeah maybe at the bottom I normally just do one side not the other and I'm just going to bring that in just to where the watermark was and then clean my brush bring that up and all the time I'm taking the excess off because I don't want it to overtake so you can see top and bottom so I'm going to take another colour now maybe that and I'm going to put it on a pad my little ink pad and I'll bring that over to show you if it's still a bit dark I'll try and put the light on so here I've got a little bit of the red tiny bit more take it off blend I'll leave that stronger so we've got like a major I don't like that at all so I'm going to go in with a darker now just to bring it closer together there right this is where what I like to do now is get the colours that I've just done and go back up the sort of colour range with them so if I put both colours there you'll see what I mean don't like that at all because it's too rigid so I'm going to smooth out the edge clean brush all the time clean brush because I don't want any lines if you wait too long you might not get rid of them but if you put water down first or paint down first you will get rid of them so that's it that's happy with that get the next color which is a little bit lighter and bring that in too much and bring the yellow in now blend it down not right to the top yet but we can blend it into those colours 
and then the last little bit is you get your, your light colour and you really go light with that. Now I can add layer upon layer to this now. I mean I said a petal shape, it's like a lozenge shape. But if I wanted to I could add a tiny bit more. And then a tiny bit more in the middle. But the beauty is you let them blend yourself. And then if you're adding water, which I am now, all I'm doing is allowing them. It's almost giving them a, a sort of direction. Um, so let's do it another way. Mixing on. So I want to get a bit of a direction going. Um, if you want to get a nice shadow with your paintbrush, start off with all your paint. To nothing. So you get a really nice blend. Uh, if you want to do leaf shapes, it's really easy. So, say that. I'm going to get the colours matched together, they might not look different. And then put another one over the top. And another one there. Need a bit more colour, I think. I'll add a bit of depth to it. So I'm just adding the darker red to the edge. When that's dried, it'll look like a sweet pea, believe it or not. Try another one. Believe it or not, where it's depth, where it'll dry like that, it dries with lines, you can do it. There's another one where you just... See if I can do it without that, because you can't see. So If I put... Oh, that's not good! No! Ah! The whole bottle. The whole bottle's gone. Oh dear. Right thing. All over the dining table. Don't believe me, do you? The whole bottle. Oh well. Shh, don't tell him. I went. It's like, you know, when someone said, what time is it? And I tip the whole bloody bottle up. Anyway. So let's do this now. I've messed up now. So let's really mess up. Um, right. Oh dear. Yeah. Right. Here's a nice little way. Three drops. Can you see? Three drops. Not throwing that away. I'm going to squeeze it out in a minute. Right, get your paintbrush. You need a round. Um, watch this. see me do that there's your three petals get it and then when you want to come around the back and you can put a bit of color in the middle and you can put some around the back as well and let them just blend in I'll do it again because it's it, it looks a bit difficult so you just creating it almost like a triangular shape and then you get another bit of colour and you're creating another shape another shape another shape 
Let me just bring them down. And like that. And you can sort of stagger them so they're near each other now so they don't have a big gap. And then wash out the edges. And you've got a really nice flower, believe it or not. It blends really well. Really pretty, that. And then you could do the whole page like that. So, I hope that's helped. <laughs> I hope that helped. Well, these things happen, don't they? I'll have to explain to Mark when I had an accident. In the meantime, I'm going to get off now. I'm going to do some hanging out my washing. I'm going to put a bit of bleach on the table. It might come out. I think it'll come out, you know. I've not got any worries about it. Uh, it's been a bit a good old table. Um, I think I think this one was my mum and dad's this. So it rolls in and out, you see. That's why we love it. So you won't see this. This only comes out at Christmas. <laughs> Bloody good job, really, isn't it? Right, so I love you, leave you. I'm back on Thursday. Uh, no, back Wednesday. So... No, I'm back Thursday. No, I've got a one day special on tomorrow. What day is tomorrow? Wednesday, Thursday. So I'll be on Friday. So I will see you 12 o'clock on Friday, okay? And then Sunday. All right. So if you want to take a quick look at me, website, you'll see me Patreon, you'll see me website page, you'll see all those things. You'll see, sorry, not my website page. You'll see my um, Amazon page, all the affiliates. So I hope that's helped you a little bit, not frighten you with, wing, uh, with inks. But I will see you Friday at 12 um, for another Mindful Moodle. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll go around screaming now. When I turn the camera off, I'll be screaming my head off. All right, see you later. Bye.